Hey everybody, it's Jeremy, and today I'm going to be talking about the morning with my single, Maj Deskaska. And this video is a little bit later than what I would have liked it to be. It's been two singles since the single came out, but I still want to talk about it nonetheless. And what I want to talk about today is the symbolism of that single. Now, a lot of times Morning Musume singles and PVs have a lot of symbolism in them, and they're littered with them. You just really have to look for them. In Maji Deskaska, there's a lot of symbolism, but you don't really have to look too far, and you don't really have to stretch too much to be able to see what it is. And I kind of want to talk about why I believe that Riho is getting the push, and why certain members are kind of staying where they're at. And in some ways, this may be stretching things. In some ways, it may just seem very logical and clear to, to other people. So just bear with me, follow with me for this. We have three sets of line distribution that I want to talk about. The first set of lines that we have are the juniors. Riho, Erina, Kenon, and Fugumura. The second and third set of lines are Aichan, Reina, Sayu, Aika, Gaki. Now, if you look at the senpai numbers, you have the I, Reina lines. And that is representative of kind of the lead vocals in the songs and kind of of Morning Musume in this particular era. The second line we have is kind of the more personality line, which is Sayumi. She's not the best singer, but she's a fan favorite within all of the Senpai members because she has such a sharp tongue and she has a, a, a really good command of language. And she's just a, a, a fan favorite in the aspect that she really knows how to talk to an audience. She knows how to talk to people and make you feel like you are the only one that is there with her. Next you have the Aika line, and Aika is kind of the one that's thrown in the back. She's not really that prominent with any particular single since she began. She really just is there mostly. Then finally you have Gaki, who is that person who's born to be a leader, is born to be the lead vocals, but just doesn't get in and is always going to be in the background. Now let's correlate that over to the junior line. We have Riho, who's clearly become the lead vocalist of her generation, and has become a lead vocalist right next to Reina and I. Next we have Arena, who is definitely the fan favorite of the ninth generation. There are a lot of people who love this girl, because she just has this very sweet aura about her, and she's not overbearing. There's just something about her that people like. Whether she's going to be that person who is not going to be a great singer, but is going to be a fan favorite, is yet to be determined, because from what I've heard of her so far, I've been impressed and I really like her voice. So I don't think she's going to be like Sayumi in that aspect, but I think she'll be like Sayumi in the aspect that she is going to be a fan favorite. I think also, because of the pairing, putting her with Sayumi and so many different vocal parts and having them together, of course she's going to become a fan favorite quickly because she's paired up next to Sayumi, who is clearly a fan favorite. Now we go to the third line, which is Kenan, and she is in the Aika line. Now, Kenan has so far been a person who has really stuck out to people. She has a good voice, but she's kind of just there, as well as Aika. Now, Aika is getting better. She has a good voice when she wants to use it. Kenan is a person who has a really great voice, but it just isn't being used. Same with Aika. The same argument can be used for her. So I believe that Kenan is going to be like Aika in the aspect that she's just kind of going to be there. And I said in my last video that I'm really hoping that Sunku is going to give her the opportunity to spread her wings and really take off in Morning Musume. I think a lot of people thought the same thing about Aika because she had a lot of lines when she first started. She was really out there, but then she kind of just fell to the background. So I'm hoping that this is going to be kind of more of an opposite situation where she's kind of just going to be there and then she's going to be able to take off is what I'm hoping for. But again, because she was in that line, I feel like there's the symbolism already. The girls that are in these lines are stuck in them and they will not change. It will be like their senpai members and you, the fans, will like it. Now finally we have the Gaki line which includes Fukumura. Now Fukumura is that member who we all know has been ready, is ready, and always will be ready, but Sunku just has not allowed her to do anything with her training that she's gotten. She was an egg who really wasn't even going to be in the group and she was surprisingly added. Surprisingly is not a word but I'm making it up. She was surprisingly added to the group in the very last minute. So she's the, that member that we all know is ready. She's been ready. She will be ready, but she's not being utilized. I believe that she's going to be like Gaki in the aspect that she is that member who's got the powerful voice, has the personality, is that born leader, but is just not going to be used and is going to be shoved to the back, as Gaki has been for the last five years almost. 
So if you have any thoughts, please put them below. I would like to hear them. If you have any comments, anything additional to say, please put them below. Um, if you haven't, click that subscribe button. Also, just further prove my point, if you do not believe anything of what I'm saying, here is this final example to prove my point. In my last video, I asked if there was a zombie apocalypse, who in Morning Musume would survive all the way to the end? And it seems like all of you guys thought that Gaki and Reina would make it to the end. I personally believe that both of them would make it to the end, so I'm glad you guys picked them because I feel like Reina, for one, has kind of that spunk that she would make it to the end, and I feel like Gaki has that really motherly personality that she'd be able to take care of survivors so they would make sure that they, let, they got her alive. I feel like somebody like Aika would probably be the first to go because it's always the one that's medically injured that gets bitten first, and as horrible as that sounds, she's got a broken ankle. If all the morning Musume is running away from the zombies, Aika's going to be the one that's going to trip. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.